What is the Old Testament? What we call the Old Testament today in the Christian tradition is essentially a collection of what I suppose would be called historical books, although I, I would qualify that very carefully. You also have the prophetic books. These are the writings of the various prophets, major and minor. You have the wisdom literature, which is, which is a kind of, I suppose almost a kind of religious philosophy of life. And it emerges much later than the other, other books. You have the Psalms, and, and in a sense, these, these all sort of meld together into what we today would call Hebrew Scriptures or Old Testament. And why do we still read the Old Testament? I suppose because the early Christians read the Old Testament. Um, the early Christians were, after all, Jewish, by birth, by background, by culture. And when you hear them talk about the Scriptures, according to the Scriptures in the New Testament, they're actually talking about the Hebrew Scriptures, the Old Testament. Because what happened was the disciples of Jesus in the first century understood him as the fulfillment of the prophecies of the Old Testament. It was a particular interpretation. Most Jews didn't agree with it. Most Jews had a totally different take, for example, when we hear about the, the songs of the servant in Isaiah. The servant is Israel, for most Jews. But for the particular group of Jews who follow Jesus, who become the early Christian church, these scriptures foretell who Jesus was for them, and it's for us. And so in a sense, we read the Old Testament, or the Hebrew scriptures, as a way of getting to our roots, our foundations in our faith. Because when we hear Jesus preach, Jesus is preaching on the Old Testament. And he's interpreting the Hebrew scriptures. He's interpreting them in a whole range of different ways. And I think that's a very important thing we perhaps forget because all too often I think Christians think, oh well, Old Testament, Hebrew scriptures, nah, don't need to bother to read those. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on the Bible and various aspects of our theology.